Hello and welcome to Sports Hub. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure to welcome you to this program. Last week we missed because I was on national duty somewhere, but I'm happy to be back. So um, today I'm featuring a female pool player who is part of the national team and going to the World Cup this October. So make sure don't move an inch. They say pool mostly is dominated by males, but today we'll be talking to a female pool player. My name is Modern Ntapechela Sinkala. So feel free to participate on the program by calling 0211 or 0211 On WhatsApp is 0955 On uh, Facebook is uh, Sports Hub Facebook page or Modern Sinkala Sports. Then we have a segment we call, How much do you know your sportsmen and women? So the last time I was here, I showed you a photo of a sportsman and asked you to identify that sportsman. But, um, well, he's the man of the moment. Uh, he ripped Zambia's only gold medal. That's a Muzala Samukonga. Gold medal in 400 meters. He's only aged 19. So, well done, Muzala Samukonga. And right now, well, his life has changed for good because he's received so many offers, so many cash offers, and also houses and, and all that. How nice sport is. So if you are a sports person out there, make sure you utilize your talent very well because it will take you far. But I have another photo for you. Hopefully you can uh, identify this sports lady. Who is she? Well, she is uh, successful in a certain sports discipline. I won't, I won't mention which one, but uh, that's her. Can you manage to identify her? If you do, it's 0955 on WhatsApp on a direct call. It's uh, 0211 or 0211 On Facebook page, just go on any post and post uh, on a uh, um, Sports Hub Facebook page or Modern Sinkala Sports. I'll be so happy to hear from you. Right, let's now look at what happened over the weekend. Let me start with netball. Uh, South Africa hosted the Africa Netball World Cup qualifiers, to be specific, in Pretoria. And South Africa, the hosts, won the tournament. They beat Malawi in the final. Then third was Zimbabwe. It was heartbreaking. They beat Zambia in the third and fourth uh, playoff by 59 goals to 41. And that meant that Zambia missed out on a place at the World Cup. So it means South Africa, Malawi, Zimbabwe, and Uganda, who didn't participate at the tournament, are going to the World Cup, which will be held in Cape Town, South Africa, next year, 2023, somewhere around August. So fourth was Zambia, fifth Kenya, sixth Botswana, seventh Namibia, eighth Tanzania, and ninth Eswatini. Tough luck to Zambia. All those players did their best. Beauty Nakaz with Diana Banda, Diana Namtowe, um, gift Bunga and all those, they tried, but it couldn't work out. So they have to wait for another four years for them to attempt uh, to qualify to the World Cup. Remember, Zambia last qualified in 2015 when they played in Australia. The first one was in 1999 when they played in New Zealand. So Zambia has been to the World Cup twice. Okay, so from the Netball World Cup qualifiers, let's come back home in the Midlands Netball Association, Mina League with 16 results. The games were played at Napsa Sports Complex in Lusaka on Saturday. So it was Prison Lepers 58, Sports in Action 25, in Kwazi 93, Mazabuka United 19, Red Arrows 32, Lusaka City Council 40. The game between Napsa and Unza was postponed, and so was the game between Green Buffaloes and Green Eagles. From Netpa, we go to rugby in the Zambia Rugby Union. There was only one rescheduled game, which was played on Saturday, 27th August, and it was a Lusaka 14. Red Arrows 48. This is in the National League. From rugby, let's go to football in the MTN Super League with two results. Butecon 1, Kana 3. A goal scored by Davis Bualia for Butecon. Patrick Gondwe, Alex Ngonga scoring for Kana. Then Green Buffaloes 2, Chambishi New. John Kosam and Jack Chira scoring for Green Buffaloes. Green Eagles 1, FC Musa New. Amitisha Mendes scoring for Green Eagles. This was a Southern Derby. 
Then uh, Cabo Warriors new Forest Rangers one Chitoshi Chinga scoring for Forest Rangers. Kansanshi Dynamo's new Prison Leopards two. So Prison Leopards winning away from home. Luvin Damundia and uh, Landu Miete scoring for Prison Leopards. Napsa Stars new Nkwazi new. Zanako one Changa Rangers two. Changa Rangers team to be on fire winning away from home and beating a team like Zanako. And Zesco United new Red Arrows one. So these were the results that were recorded at the weekend. So uh, right now, uh, on top is Power Dynamos. Two out of two, they have six points. Then in Changa Rangers also, two out of two, they have uh, six points. Okay, so before I introduce my guests in the studio, let's dance to a song done by Tribal Cousins titled Chipolo Polo.
<laughs> yes, yeah, so when teams are doing well, people always dance like that. So Tribal Cousins with that song titled Chipolo Polo, also dedicating it to the Copper Queens who are in South Africa for the COSAFA Women's Championship. So make sure you come back with a trophy and also urging the poor teams that are going to uh, Morocco for the World Cup also to bring back the trophy home. Okay, time for me to introduce my guests in the studio. And the first one is a female player <laughs> playing in a male-dominated sport, actually. There are very few uh, female pool players. So that's her. Talking about um, Rachel Mbewe, she's the team captain for uh, the women's pool team. Rachel is accompanied by Zambia Pool Union General Secretary Tess Fashinkombwe. That's him. Uh, very tall, actually. It should be the Hyatt for basketball or netball. <laughs> uh, we also have uh, the treasurer, Zambia Pool Union, uh, best Lungu. I'm sure we'll have the best night tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, gentlemen and lady, you are welcome. You can come and join me here. Right. Um, I can't wait to hear the story from uh, Rachel on how she joined Pooh and how she thought of Pooh. Uh, welcome to Sports Hub. Thank you. Good All right. Evening. So we'll start with you, Rachel. Um, I know, like I said earlier on, Pooh is a male-dominated uh, sport. How did you think of joining this sport? Well, um, it started way back sometime in 2015 when my brother took me to a game. I was bored at home. I had just knocked off from work. And so he decided to take me for the game. And then I developed interest and started learning. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, but b before your brother took you there, um, had you watched any games or um, seen people playing and, and so forth? No, no, not really. Okay. It was oh. just the first time and I developed interest from there. Okay. But uh, you were also hearing this um, sentiments from people that no uh, poo, ni game me a follow and all that. No, not at all. Actually, it's the other way around. Poo needs you to be in a sober state, and you need to make a lot of calculations on the table. So you really need to be sober. Okay. Yes. Right. So when you started out, which club was that, and how was it for you? I was playing for Winters at the time. Uh, it was quite good, although. You know, I was the only lady in the league at the time, and I was the only lady in the team. It was quite challenging, but I overcame it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Winters were playing in the, in the Zambia Pro Union League, or what league was They it? were playing Madalas. Oh, Madalas. Mm -hmm. Yes. You were playing Madalas as, as a young person. <laughs> yes, I'm a Madala. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. And that's, that's you there. Um, what has been your... Um, what can I say? Your big, uh, your your strength in in pool. Um, the encouragement that I've gotten from my teammates, the ZPU executive, the Madalas executive, has been really encouraging and um, overwhelming. You know, it's not easy being a lady and playing such a sport, mm -hmm. but they've helped out a great deal. Okay. Yeah. Is pool the only sport that you've ever played, or you tried some others, but it couldn't work out? I used to, to I, I used to do athletics. I actually have a bronze. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I used okay. to do that, but not anymore. So now I'm just concentrating on pool. That was at school? Yes, that was at school somewhere a long time ago, like 20 years back. <laughs> hmm, okay, but yeah. why, why, why did you think of progressing with uh, athletics? Uh, I got involved in an accident and then I, I broke a leg. My, 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 I, I, I broke my leg, so I couldn't proceed Oh, shame. That. So that was the end of That was the end of it. Okay. It, and yeah. then you thought, what else can I do? Maybe I do it something to do with hands. <laughs> yes, maybe I can use my hands and my mind. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, let's hear from the General Secretary Zambia Poor Union. Um, how has the sport developed in the country? Okay, yeah. Um, thank you very much, Morning, first of all, for having us. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so in terms of development, um, I think the sport has developed a great deal. Like you, you, you opened with Rachel, you asked her about a uh, question about uh, um, the sport being played in the bar or being a sport for drunkards. Yes. Yes, that is where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, now I think we're getting to a level where we're being respected, okay, as a sport. And um, I'd like to, to, to also appreciate what the president said the other day, 
that uh, there is no minor and major sports in the country. Yes, so pool is a sport, a professional sport for that matter. And now, I think um, to add on to the growth, we now have um, players that are coming from as far as Uganda just to come and uh, have a few of our league. Mm, yeah, okay. so we have, yes, so we have a few players that are playing uh, for uh, Finale Pool Club. We have a player, uh, Spice 8, also have um, uh, Sharks Pool Club as well. I've got some players. Yeah, so that, that just shows you how much respect Africa is giving to Zambia and, and, and how much um, seriousness we've, we've, we've actually added to, to the sport as, as players and administrators. Okay. So have you drifted away from uh, drinking places? Have you found neutral places where we anyone have. can walk in? And yes, yes. We, we actually have a number of neutral places. Uh, we have Billiards Cafe. Uh, um, I think Billiards Cafe has got, I think, about four locations, Mutendel, Town, and a few other locations. Uh, yeah, and then we have uh, Flintstones Pool Club. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we, ha we, we have Club Finale. We have a number of locations now where you can actually go on a weekend with your children and just have a good time. You know, you will not be intimidated by people who are, uh, you know, yeah. Okay. So. I can see in that photo, uh, Zambia hosted, was that an African championship? Yes, yes. Uh, that was actually the Africa Cup. Of yeah, I can see you with the PS, uh, Minister of Sport, uh, uh, Minister of Youth, Sport and Arts, Kangwachireshe. That shows that government has been supporting, like you are saying. Yes, yes. Uh, government has been very supportive yes. of uh, any uh, sports discipline. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, we we, we do appreciate um, the the efforts that the new deal uh, government, the new Don government, is doing. You know, and uh, of course, we'd like to um, encourage them to do more. You know, because uh, um, more needs to be done, especially for sports like ours, which which have not been <coughs> recognized for a long time. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, th in that picture that was me uh, with uh, Honorable Kangwachileshi, the PS. Uh, we actually had a good time. Uh, he witnessed uh, Zambia winning, beating South Africa and, and uh, winning gold at, at the Africa Cup. Yeah, so. As a team? Yes, uh, yes, okay. yes. And actually, that was Zambia's second African title, is it? Yes, the first one was in 2013. 13. Yes, under uh, President Tom Michelo then. Okay, so that means. Um, <laughs> Pu um, has been doing very well in Zambia, despite not spreading your wings to other parts of, of the country. Pu has been doing well, not despite us spreading our wings, but despite uh, uh, previous governments not sponsoring us. Yes, but now, of course, things look uh, different. Th things are looking up. And, uh, of course, uh, now I'm proud to say that um, next, come next season, 2023, uh, we will have a league, an active league in Southern Province. Um, the Cabo League also will be resurrected, as well as the Copper Belt League and uh, Eastern Province. So, in addition to the one in Osaka, so we'll have three, three more leagues. Okay. Yes. So, the picture we saw earlier, that's uh, the male national team that won the, the, uh, the African... Yes, tournament. yes. That was the male national team. Um, yes, that's the, the picture that, that you're seeing right now. That's the male national team. The male national team has I been active. I can see the, some of the players. I can see Victor Sinyenza. Yes, he's the current national champion and he's, he's the captain for the, for the male team. Victor Sininza, we've got Roy Kawe, who's actually new, he, he just joined the team. Then we've got uh, Elisha Mwaba, we've got uh, Kelvin Kandu, who's also new. Mm. Then we've got, yeah, we've got uh, a few other players there that uh, uh, you recognize, like uh, Kelvin Piri, as well, also known as Dog G. Yeah, so, so for the male team, we've We've been there from from um, I think 20, 2009 or twenty zero eight season mm -hmm. somewhere there. We've been participating in the Africa Cup mm -hmm. since then. But for the ladies, this is the first time that our ladies team has ever participated in the Africa Championships, mm -hmm. and um, this year they'll be going to Morocco for the World Cup. Okay. Yes, how we're very strong, proud. How strong is the female national team? The female team is quite strong. Um, it's unfortunate that um, in in the just ended event, the Africa Cup, they had to play the uh, defending champions uh, um, Uganda. I think they also played South Africa, who were runners up um, in 2020. So those two teams have been there doing it for a very long time, you know. And then our team is quite new. So yeah, but other than that, I think our coach, uh, Mr. Mark Musimoko, is doing his best and. I think uh, the ladies are in better shape than they were in March. Okay. So come October, mm. I think you 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 see fireworks. We okay. hope we hope to get a medal 
for for the ladies uh of course we're going for gold for for the men but uh silver will be okay i think for the ladies <laughs> <laughs> no we need the gold medal uh, rachel who are some of those players there uh in the national team okay so we've got nancy malindi like uh let me just see like the first one here is ndanji there's ndanji ndanji tole nawale there's um olin uh, okay. Yeah, so there's Olin, there's Messi Piri, there's Nancy Malindi, there's Ines. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, there's Tamara Nguira, there's mm. Chimwemwe, who is also a footballer. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. And then there's um, Juliet. Uh, Juliet, there's also Cha Chabota, Chabota, um, yeah. yeah. And so this is the A team. This is the A team that is going to Morocco. Yes, yeah, yes, cream yes. Of course, of, of, of course, we've made a few a few adjustments because you see, pool pool is not like other sports. Pool is a, a is a game based on form. Mm. So more than if today you are, you are shooting and then to, tomorrow you're not shooting as well as you were shooting yesterday, mm -hmm. obviously would we'll, we'll, we'll drop you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So now, how do you monitor this? Because there's no active league for females. Last time I covered her, she was playing Madala. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, um, there is no active league, yes, for 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 for, for the ladies at mm -hmm. the moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, but we get to have tournaments regularly. Okay. So yes, we get to have uh, singles tournaments mm -hmm. where the, our, our ladies get to participate in. Yes, and then we get to have trainings also for them. So mm -hmm. we are we are closely monitoring their performance as well as for for the gents, of course. All right. Yeah. Let's hear from the treasurer, the man who holds the money. <laughs> How has the team been preparing? Is everything in place as the team prepares for the World Cup? Um, first of all, thank you very much for, for having us here and uh, according us this uh, opportunity. I must say that uh, for every sportsman, the last thing that should be on their mind is uh, the financial stress if they're going to participate uh, in a tournament of this magnitude. And... Uh, uh, the, the the team made the country proud by, of course, getting gold uh, last March or is it April? And uh, so far, financially, uh, our preparations are, I would say, are going on stable because, of course, the main stakeholder, which is the Ministry of Sports, mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, guaranteed us that uh, they are going to sponsor the team. And uh, other than that, we have engaged uh, some corporate sponsors uh, to come to the aid of the team as well. And uh, uh, I must say that uh, quite a number have shown positive interest. Ah, okay. Great. Okay, so for now, we take a short break, and when we come back, we'll be hearing more from this team, which will be heading to Morocco for the World Cup. Catch different sports men and women as they share their career stories on Sports Hub. If I was that bad, no one ever take me a picture I'm drinking. Why? Apart from sharing their stories, they are also subjected to different challenges. One, two. <laughs> Esther versus... <laughs> Sports results, musical performances. <laughs> giveaways all in one basket. Sports Hub, live every Monday at 21 hours on TV3, channel 004 on Topstar. As TV3, we are at the center of sports. Let's kick off together. Professional golfers strike and discuss business on the golf course as TV3 were there to offer you a platform to part for a high score. As we shoot and aim high. So aim to port for your rifle. As TV3, we are moving at high speed with you. All this and much more exclusive on TV3. TV3, discover the difference. Catch different sports men and women as they share their career stories on Sports Hub. If I was that bad, no one ever take me a picture i'm drinking why apart from sharing their stories they are also subjected to different challenges one two 
Esta vez es... <laughs> Sports results, musical performances. Giveaways all in one basket. Sports Hub, live every Monday at 21 hours on TV3, channel 004 on Topstar. Thank you for staying with us. So remember, every Monday we are live and we'll be waiting for those calls. So before I get back to my guests, let's just, uh, let me introduce uh, that photo again that I asked you to, to, to um, identify. Who is uh, the sports uh, woman in that photo? That one. Who is that one? She's been there for some time now in the world of... I won't mention the sports coach because I'll give you leakage. But uh, who is that lady? Uh, she recently participated at a certain tournament and uh, she got two awards as um, uh, the most valuable player, or let me say player of the match award. All right. So I'll be waiting for your calls and also uh, on um, the, the, the other details uh, are crawling on the screen. So let me talk to um, Rachel again. So tell us how you transitioned. You said you were playing for win Winters? Yes. Yes. How, how was your experience there and uh, how did you move from there to another club? Well, it was, it was a good experience. Very, it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's, it's a high. There's, there's, there's a way in which you feel when you play pool. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I wish you were there at the Africa Cup in, um, when we were doing the Africa Cup in March. Hey, it's thrilling. Really? Yeah, so the reason I left Winters was because the team was disbanded. We used to play from a certain place and then the owner um, sold it off. And so then we were homeless, so we disbanded. But now I'm playing for Dynamite 8, which is an, an all-women club. There's just ladies in there. Okay. Actually, the ladies that are playing the national team. Oh, ah, okay. Yes. So I'm sure you feel more free there because it's an, an all-women team, right? It's not even about the freedom. I'm so used <laughs> so much that sometimes I even feel like there's something I haven't done if I don't play pool for five days. <laughs> oh, <really>? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in this league, the Madalas League, you play with the men. How has been the competition? We've been beating them and they've been beating us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but looking yeah. at the table, I think you like, my last last, if I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, Pooh is just, you, 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 as long as it's a, it's a lose, you won't know what happened on the table. These guys, they sweat, I'm telling you. Really? <laughs> they sweat. <laughs> I'm even about to give GS head start now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I remember the game I came to cover. You you lost that game, but uh, like when you were there, you were all confident. But in the end, you you, you lost that game. Well, we lost. Um, a lose is still a lose. We lost, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Yeah, we're training. We're being trained. We have our coach, uh, Mark Musmuko. He's really putting in a lot of effort to train us. Okay. Yeah, we're getting there. All right. Um, let's talk about the, the World Cup, which is, I think there's only one month in between. How, yes. how are you preparing as the female team? So we are actually under training. We are undergoing training. We're training twice a week now. Yeah, we, we've been prepared, actually. Okay. We're sharpening. We're sharpening the skills. Okay. So yes. as, as captain, um, are, are you at this, how are your other colleagues responding to training? They are responding very well. I'm sure you watched, uh, you, you covered, you, you rather, you covered the, um, the, 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 the Black Label Cup that was sponsored by Black Label, which saw our national champion, Juliet Nika, um, taking the cup. Like she was the first, uh, the, 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 the first one. And then the, the second one was um, Messi Piri, and then there was uh, uh, Nancy Malindi and um, Ndanji Tole. Mm. So we're getting there. We're doing, we're doing everything possible to bring glory, like not the silver that GS talked about. We want to bring gold. <laughs> gold, indeed. We need gold. <laughs> we need gold. Yeah. Um, so when um, your, your parents, when your family heard you are playing pool, what was the reaction? Um, that time, they really didn't want it because they thought that we're playing pool in the bar. 
you know but now things have changed <laughs> we've got pool parlors where there's no alcohol in fact even when we are playing we're not allowed to take alcohol we don't drink it's not allowed okay. so it's actually a good thing it is a good thing i wish a lot of ladies could come on board you know it keeps your mind active and then you you are busy you're kept busy. even the, the younger folk we're actually encouraging even the 18 year olds to to come in and train with us you know and join the team join the league it would be good to see other ladies join in actually okay yeah. let me hear from tespa do you have yeah. any talent identification program the zambia Pool union um yes we do though it is only based here in lusaka we we, we actually have an academy that has been running for for a couple of months now i won't mm -hmm. say a year it's under a year yeah, so we have a, uh, an academy based at uh, Billiards Cafe, Southgate Mall in mm -hmm. town. Yeah. So we have young ones playing too. Yes, young ones actually come. Um, I think I think one of these days when you're covering us, I'll make sure that uh, I bring them. I, I bring them to one of the games that you'll be covering so that you can just see how well uh, these youngsters are playing. Yeah. So yeah. So it is just unfortunate that uh, we don't have th that many for us to make a team but would have wanted to actually make it under 23 or under 18 team so that we, we go with them to, to to the worlds so that they can they can actually showcase their talent and show the rest of the world what zambia is actually made of okay yeah so what's your plan in terms of uh, expansion of, of the sport to other parts of the country because the league that you have is a national league right yes but all the teams are from Lusaka. Well, um, you see, um, it is a little bit different the way the setup is with Pu. Yeah, um, the way our setup is is um, Zambia Pu Union is the mother body for all associations, and and that is where I belong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, Rachel mentioned Mandalas. Mandalas is an association within Lusaka, and then we have also the Black Bull uh, League, which is also in Lusaka. Then we have Copper Belt. Copper Belt Province Poor Association, we've got uh, Central Province. Oh, they Province have their own league running there. Yes, though it's been dormant, but like I had mentioned, 2023, it's actually starting again. Uh, Central Province also have, Eastern Province have an association and so on and so forth. So basically, every I come province, from Muchinga. I don't think there's an association no, there. <laughs> no, no, no. Muchinga <laughs> is a relatively new province, but mm. yeah, but we're getting there. Yeah, so every province actually has is supposed to have an association and then those associations are supposed to have their own league running yeah and of course um, under under supervision from from zambia pool union yeah and then um yeah so basically that is how the leagues are supposed to be each province is supposed to have its own league yeah okay. yeah and then ZP okay so share with the people that are watching yes. Using, I'm sure that camera that should be your camera. Okay, if people are interested, they they like pool but they just play socially but they want to 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 go pro. What can they do if they're in a province where you you are not there? In fact, in fact, I'd like to mention that uh, through our Facebook page, I've actually been interacting with a lot of people from other provinces, yeah, and um. What has been happening actually is that these people have been sharing their videos because that is the only way right now that we can actually see how well they are playing. Mm -hmm. So they've been sharing their videos and then uh, depending on how well they are doing, we are now encouraging them to join a club in their province. But if it's a and if there's no club? Yes, if it's a province that has no club, mm -hmm. then we are requesting that they come for a tournament in Osaka. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will we'll fund. You we'll sponsor. Yes, we will actually sponsor. Okay. Yes, we will sponsor. They come for a tournament, and then we'll be able to see how well they are playing. And then, if they are playing well enough, then we can probably send them off to a um, a club maybe nearest to their province. If if yeah, if for example they're in Muchinga province, mm -hmm. like like you you gave an example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe they can play in Eastern province. Yeah, I'm sure it will be relatively relatively shorter than uh, coming to Lusaka. What is the procedure to form a club? Uh, affiliation, basically. So you affiliate to the association in your province, and then that association affiliates to Zambia Pool Union. So simple. Okay. But, but of course, we've got certain guidelines, uh, regulations, rules and regulations that we, we share, and the clubs have to adhere to, to, to those rules. Like uh, Rachel had mentioned, when you're playing, we do not allow um, intake of any alcohol or any sort of drug. So we make sure that that is not done. Once we, we find the player wanting, they are mm. disciplined. Is there, is there a breathalyzer? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, 
Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure that someone has not taken anything. Some would say, no, for me, mm -hmm. to calculate best angles, I need to take something. No, 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 no. That is not actually true. We've actually proven that that is not true. I okay. know of players who used to say that, but mm. now, the, now that they're playing sober, sober-minded, mm. uh, they actually uh, agree now that they actually play better when they're not drinking. Okay, all right. Um, let me talk to best. Um, when is the team getting into residential camp, both teams actually? Okay, so uh, the, the team is going to get into residential camp uh, next week because uh, uh, some of the things that you have touched, such as uh, uh, toxic drugs in the body, mm -hmm. uh, when you look at uh, the, the, the World Poor Association, mm -hmm. they are very strict in terms of anti-doping rights mm -hmm. and anti-doping uh, activities. So we need to make sure that our entourage and uh, the, the, the team, including the coaches, uh, are drug-free whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And uh, for us to do that, it can only be done through close monitoring of their everyday move and uh, just ensure that uh, the, the coaches have enough time with them, mm -hmm. uh, they are going through the drills and uh, everything is in place. Okay. So no friendly match with another country like before they get to the Africa Cup? No, 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 no. We, we, we haven't planned that. Um, and I don't think we'll have that. But what we'll have is we'll actually have a match, uh, a fundraising match that we've organized. So it'll be the two national teams, the ladies and the men's national team fused together. Mm -hmm. And then we'll make two teams from that. So they'll, they'll play so that we can see how well Rachel is actually playing and how well she has trained. Okay, yeah. great. Um, so with the females, you said even if they come with a silver medal, it will be okay. But with the men... Oh, no. I take that back, actually. <laughs> we just want gold. <laughs> okay. So with the men, how much confidence do you have in the men's team? Who are the African champions? We, we are very confident, Modern. We are very, very, very confident, you know. Um, I, think, I think the whole of Africa also is, is actually rallying behind us, being African champions. You should have seen how we, we demolished uh, South Africa who are uh, ranked number one in Africa, and Uganda, who were number two now. Now they are, I think, behind Zambia. Hmm. Yeah, you should have seen how we demolished uh, those two. They've been uh, intimidating us for a very long time. <laughs> There's been a, they've been a thorn in mm -hmm. our flesh for a very long time, but the way we hammered them, yeah, we were very confident. Our boys are in camp. We, we, yeah, our boys are in camp. Of course, others are visiting other towns, mm -hmm. trying to sell the brand here and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, our boys are in good shape. I so at, at that tournament in, uh, at OIDC, actually Zambia was going to get a double, right? Because Victor Sinjins was also in the final, in the singles yes, final. Yes, yes, yes. Only to lose in the final. Yes, yeah. Ish, but when you, when you look at the player that he lost to, he mm. lost to Africa top seed, Eden Joseph from South Africa. Mm. So, uh, in as much as we were, he was second. I must say, on behalf of uh, the Zambia Poor Association, we are, we, we are proud of Victor Sinjins, who is our national champion, mm -hmm. and he really did us proud. Because when you look at uh, the players that he won, he won Chadinga Caesar. Mm -hmm. That's a top seed from uh, from Uganda, mm -hmm. but playing his trade right mm -hmm. here in, uh, in 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 Zambia for for Shark Spook Club. So mm -hmm. we we are proud of, of of our boys, and we are very optimistic that. Uh, we should bring uh, God. And that's Victor Sininza there. One, to first is Test Fashion Combo, who is the general secretary, who is here. Then Victor Sininza, followed by him, Best, Best Lungu. Lungu. Then on the far right. That's uh, Jay Chisanga. He's the chairman for Madala's uh, uh, Poor Association. Ah, okay, awesome. So um, on which occasion was this? This was, uh, they just ended national championships uh, where... Uh, it was actually last month, held last mm. month, where Victor um, uh, scooped. Yes, scooped <laughs> and uh, Castle Embassy scooped uh, uh, the, the, the top prize for, for, for teams. Okay, yeah. wow. You know, in Pooh, very interesting. There are interesting nicknames like, <laughs> like Beggar. <laughs> yes. Is, yes. Where's Beggar? Um, unfortunately, he relocated. He's, he's, he's in Euro Europe now. He's... Uh, is 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 trying to to find a better life for <laughs> for his family. Okay. Yeah, of course we congratulate him. It's a good thing. Yeah. So yeah, but of course uh, the likes of Victor Buffalo, like Victor you said, Buffalo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's still okay. here. We've got uh, Stephen Banda, 
uh, who won uh, the doubles um, category for the national championship with uh, Victor. We call him Dr. Rango. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So we've got <laughs> Rachel right here. We call oh, her farmers. Farmers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're a farmer? Yes, I am a farmer. Ah, okay. <laughs> and, and of course, I'm also known as a tin span. Surprise. Because <laughs> interesting <laughs> nicknames in pool. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so you are still playing active pool as um, uh, you're also treasurer and also playing. Active well, I'm um, I'm the treasurer, but I I wouldn't say I play active pool. I um I play for a team in Madala's association. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not as bad. I can take you down any day. <laughs> okay, but do you play active? Yes, pool? yes, yes, yes. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I still play actively. I play for for club finale, mm -hmm. uh, be based in Kabwata. Yeah, and um, we we are not uh, going after the league, of course, because mm -hmm. there's sharks and castle embers who are doing much much better than us. Yeah, but uh, we we are going for fourth position. Hopefully, we can we can get that. Oh, okay. So, uh, isn't there anything like you no know, teams crying foul that no? You favored us, no? Maybe because you're in the executive and something like that. No, 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 no. No, you see, you see, we are so professional that every time we are involved in the play, we declare interest and we say, "I am not GS anymore. Mm -hmm. I am just a player." So, if you feel like uh, you're being, um, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm being biased or anything mm -hmm. on w whatever uh, situation, please mm -hmm. just call it out and. Who, who ask other members of, of the committee or referees to actually defuse the situation. Okay. The last match I watched you play, I think you were wired by sharks. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We were humiliated <laughs> <laughs> by sharks. Yeah. And that was embarrassing when the GS is there and you lose. <laughs> Imagine, eh? Ish. I think we'll disqualify that team. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's on a lighter note. <laughs> right. So, um, talking about the, the, the World Cup, what are your expectations and the teams that are there? Which teams are likely to be there and um, which teams do you think will be a threat? Well, ish, you know what? Uh, funny thing is, we are only used to our fellow Africans. We know South Africans are good, they'll be there, Ugandans are good, but this time around we'll be supporting them and they'll be supporting us mm -hmm. okay so yeah so of course confirmed we we, we have the likes of uh, republic of ireland they're very good yeah we have england they're very good we have the usa um we have mexico we have australia um tunisia of course africans algeria africans uh, uh morocco the hosts also africans zimbabwe our neighbors they'll be there yeah so mm -hmm. yeah so i think uh, the european countries uh, a little bit ahead of us in terms of uh, in terms of pool mm -hmm. yeah, and of course we respect that and uh, of course we we are not going there like I said as underdogs mm -hmm. we, we are going there as, as African, uh, African champions. champions yes so we yeah so I'm sure even they will be uh, wary of, of, of the threat that we pose yeah mm -hmm. so yeah so but of course we're looking forward to interacting with them and learning where we can and of course, they also look at look at learning from us because we've got a different style of play. Yeah. Okay. Would this be the first time Zambia participating at the World Cup? Yes. Yes, it is actually. It's the first time. Oh, okay. Yes, and we're looking forward to Lo it. Really looking forward. I know um, since you've been African champions twice, hopefully you can come back with the world title. Hopefully. Yes, yes hopefully. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. So, um, the foreign base player who is in Europe now, are you going to call him, since he's, 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 a, he's a good player, and are you going to call him as, you know, the way footballers would call, you know, there's parts on Dakar, there's parts on Sakala. <laughs> so, actually, uh, according to the, 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 the team that uh, the coach, the national team coach for the males, Mr. Leonard Milimo, unveiled, uh, uh, the international player is not part of uh, the is not part of the squad mm -hmm. because I think the coach has not been monitoring him and uh, we are not certain if he's playing active pool okay. where he is because according to what we have he's gone there to to to, to better the life of his family just like uh, <laughs> the, the SG has said more like. Uh, going for some uh, greener pastures. So okay. he's not part of the eight-man team that the coach okay. unveiled last week. Okay, there was also a player called the Alfred Sebolo. I think he, yes, he was part yes. of the African, uh, the team that won the in African championship in 2013. Yes, yes, yes. Where is yes. he? 
you know what? He, uh, that gentleman had disappeared from the face of the earth, but two weeks ago, I found him. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I tested him. Uh, you know, I asked him to put a few balls here and there, and uh, he's still good. So, yeah, so I asked him now to be more active. You know, so hopefully he's gonna come back and we can um, bring him back to to it to yeah to where he was. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Time for us to 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 catch up on what is trending. Uh, but uh, before Julius comes uh, comes on, um, Rachel, um, what's your favorite hairstyle? I know <laughs> sportsmen and women like um, different hairstyles. What's your what's your favorite? My favorite hairstyle is the one, this one. The one okay. <laughs> what hairstyle is this one? <laughs> what is it called? My son calls it that a mohawk. Whatever it's a mohawk? <laughs> I know a mohawk comes like this, yes, then there's yes, yes, <laughs> yes, an extension. Like that. Ah. Okay. Okay, yes, how but I like to keep it natural. How far do you want to go in your full career? I want to do it. Like I want to be, I want to be one of the most decorated female players so I can lead by example to <laughs> The upcoming players, female players. <laughs> yeah. Okay, time to for us to join Julius. Julius, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Modern, um, how are you doing? Very well, thanks. It's been long. Uh, it's been long indeed. Good to have you back. It's good to be here. Thank you uh, very right. much for having me. Actually, we are welcoming each other back. <laughs> <laughs> what's so, welcome. <laughs> indeed. What's trending? All right, so what's trending more than is that um, the, the Copa Queens were invited to State House to um, attend um, a luncheon. That was uh, last week on uh, Wednesday by the President of the Republic of Zambia. So as we can see from the photos, Modern, um, the President himself was uh, saving uh, the Copa Queens, humility from yeah, the President. A lot of humility indeed. Yeah, humility from the President. And um, talking, still talking about the Copa Queens, uh, Modern, they've actually, they actually traveled to uh, South Africa tonight, today, sorry, and um, they'll be taking part in the Kosafa tournament that will be starting on uh, Thursday. So they take on um, Namibia. They've actually arrived safely. So uh, we wish them all the best. We know that the, they are going to represent us very well, Modern, uh, especially that uh, Barbara Banda now is part of the squad and she's going to be leading the, 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 the striking force. So we know that they're going to bring the trophy back home and uh, we wishing them all the very best. Still talking about the Copa Queens, actually uh, we've seen uh, some companies coming on board and one of the Chinese companies has actually donated a high sea bus, a 16 seater and we actually saw Margaret Belemu uh, start the car, start the engine for that bus so um, we saw, uh, we, we, we're happy to see more companies coming on board and we're hoping that more companies will be coming on board even as the Copper Queens will be getting ready for um, the World Cup that will be taking place uh, in uh, Australia um, next year. Um, other development that we have to talk about in as far as social media is concerned, former um, Chipolo Polo coach Hona Janza and former NAPSA Stars CEO um, has been appointed as um, Tanzania caretaker coach. Good development, Modern. At least Indeed. we're seeing our very own uh, being appointed as um, national team coach for another country. So hoping that he's going to deliver so that he can be given a full-time job. So congratulations to our very own um, Hona Janza. Next, our very own uh, Lamek Banda, the unsung hero of the national team, more than yesterday was in action and he played um, 79 minutes. He turned the defense apart of the, uh, the opponent's team. So really, we're proud of him and we're hoping to see him play um, for the national team. Did he score? Unfortunately, he didn't. But he did... Um, uh, he did. He, I think he was in charge. He he did um, an assist. I think. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Grace Chanda, um, assistant captain for the Copa Queens, uh, is on the verge of signing for a Spanish uh, team. So um, we're looking forward to see which team she's going to sign for. But all the very best to our um, assistant captain. That's um, Grace Chanda. Mm -hmm. Remember, Modern, that she's not going to be part of the, the squad that mm -hmm. uh, has traveled to South Africa. And that will be participating in the Kosafa tournament due to club um, engagement. So we wish um, our assist, uh, vice captain all the very best. All right, so we move to um, the men's... Uh, the men's hockey team has traveled to Zimbabwe. They'll be taking uh, part in the All-African uh, Games qualifiers. They'll be playing um, Zimbabwe. All right. So um, on a sad note, uh, Modern, uh, 
Barcelona striker uh, was attacked and uh, unfortunately they didn't do anything uh, bad to him but he was attacked by armed robbers, him and the wife and uh, we did, pray and hope did, did that he was safe. Did you say unfortunately or fortunately? It's unfortunate that they were attacked but fortunately uh, mm -hmm. they are safe. Okay, Nothing nice happened one. to them. Yeah. <laughs> last, last, uh, lastly, uh, on what's changing, uh, modern uh, uh, Sadio Mane, the Senegalese striker, is a devoted, uh, devoted uh, Muslim. He refused. He refused to hold a be uh, a bottle of beer uh, in uh, Bayern Munich's <laughs> photo shoot. Wow! <laughs> Hoping that every Christian can be doing that. That's all we had uh, in as far as social media gossip is concerned. Thank you very much, uh, Julius. So Julius giving us what is trending, and also on a sad note, Zambia lost um, the first uh, Zambian coach for the national team, Keno Bright or Banda. Uh, he died and will be put to rest on uh, Tuesday. So may his soul rest in peace. Time for a short challenge. We'll challenge Rachel. She has to do ball juggling. So, Rachel, we know you're, <laughs> you're used to cue sticks and everything. But today you have to juggle the bow. The bow. Here, you can come here. You do it from here. Show us your bow juggling skills. Here is the bow. And the time starts now. So I use my hands or I lose, use my legs? No, use your feet. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. So this is the program for today. I was hosting um, the pool team. Uh, so uh, Rachel, uh, she's uh, the female captain for the women's team for pool. Then Tess Fashinkombe, who is the general secretary for Zambia Pool Union. And Best Lungu, he is uh, the treasurer, the man in charge of the funds. Hope uh, all the players will be happy and they will be remunerated accordingly and nicely. <laughs> so until next week at the same time when we bring another set of cases. My name is Modern Tapechera Sinkara. Goodbye.